So we're going to leave the yellow groove bamboo behind and walk away from it. And that's the yellow groove. And you see it's still got a lot of green on it. It's the only bamboo that I've got that survived the cold spell. And what we had was a little bit below zero Fahrenheit. But anytime it falls five degrees Fahrenheit above zero, you're going to have dieback on all the surface. What saved all of our bamboo this year was we got about 15 inches of snow before the real cold came. And when that 15 inches of snow came, it kept the ground 32 degrees. Even though it was below zero, below, above the snow, it was still 32 below the snow. So the roots and the plants that were less than 15 inches high never saw the cold and we had a very mild winter prior to that with nothing falling below 20 degrees Fahrenheit until this last cold spell that lasted over a week it was very cold so right now it's April 15th this is an old wild grapevine See how big the trunk is? And the trunk's split and all, but it's still alive. It's very old. And inside of it, there's animals and things living. You can see it's going way up that tree. You can hope we don't get any more cold spells because it's already got its leaves. But what I wanted to do here I wanted to show you an update on the MOSO and how it's doing. Now MOSO, as usual, it always, it always comes up way before the frosts and the freezes are over. It tries to shoot. And the shoots are very delicate and very tender. And they cannot take freezing. But unfortunately, it's the only bamboo that I have that doesn't understand you can't shoot before winter is over. It waits until, usually it waits until the beginning of April to shoot. Um, but we always have one freeze in April. That's the, the tricky thing. And around where I live, one of the biggest words of advice is for planting your garden, don't be an April fool. We always wait till after Easter before we plant because Easter usually means the freezes are over and Easter is different every year. But what happened here, you can see, is all the Moso bamboo leaves are dead and some of the trunks are actually dead. And the way you know is because they turn black. So you can see the dark color on the bottom of some of these means they're dead. But a lot of these shoots, these new shoots you see, they've got a velvet, a reddish velvet on them. They're, um, some of them are already dead. I'm going to show you one just to show you. They died because the frost hit them. They came up and sure enough, frost hit them. I just had to climb a barbed wire fence. That's what I keep the horses out. Because horses love bamboo. They'll eat it up. So this one right here is dead. It doesn't look so, but it is. See? You can take that off and it's dead. This shoot is not alive. Bamboo is really tender when it's, when it's uh, coming up. It's soft and tender. And it's very edible at this age. Um, 
there's a rumor that it's got cyanide and then that cyanide some kind of a vitamin as well I don't know when it's natural in a plant form but the um, animals all eat it just fine all of them horses and everybody but we're supposed to cook it and not much just cook it a little blanch it whatever before we eat it but I've eaten it raw quite a bit and all the animals do and Asia they have entire forests that thrive off of bamboo and this is moso which is the common bamboo and see the birds were nesting in here and they were having a really good time hiding because moso is normally always evergreen and the birds always had cover even in the winter but this year all the leaves got froze out and moso is very sensitive see this is a pretty good size shoot right here and it survived most of them didn't and anything near that fence where the horses could reach those are gone and there were a whole lot bigger shoots than that Anyway, this is um, three inches straight across, easy, maybe four, yeah, four inches across. So that's a four inch thick trunk. And it's very velvety. No other bamboo I know of is velvety like this. It has two names, Phyllostachys moso edulis and Phyllostachys moso pubescens. And um, it's interesting that it has these little hairs on it these little fuzzy little soft fuzzy hairs because I don't know any other bamboo that does and it's, it's really neat it's my favorite bamboo but it's not the best bamboo because it comes up too early in zone 7 and any colder climate than this will be extremely difficult to grow it because I mean it's so uh, so much of a gamble Every time it comes up, wondering if the shoots are going to get frozen or not. And each time a bamboo shoots, it takes so much energy from it to put up these shoots, because these little shoots grow extremely fast. And um, it takes so much energy from the bamboo grove. See, this grove is all one, one clone. It's all connected. And if somebody put poison on, on the canes over there, the whole grove would be affected by it, you know some kind of a herbicide toxin, those non-biodegradable enemies of mine. But anyway, bamboo is all one clone. This, this is entire, like one tree, the whole grove is. And when it flowers, it'll all flower at once. And I've never had bamboo flower of all the bamboo types I have. None of them have ever flowered. So that's, that's all I get to say about this stuff. I'll show you what it looks like from a distance.